Hey, this is Kate, and this is Game 2 for the Vipers. Tonight we're playing against the red team, and we're looking for our first win of the season. Hopefully we'll be lucky enough to pull that out tonight. The joys of a crease that is still filled with water. Nice little save with no rebound to start the game. Always like that. Well, that is a 90s era save if I ever saw one. And the Vipers go up one nothing. Nice to get a good seal on that RVH. <laughs> that was ugly. First I have these weird looking shuffles and then my uh, skate doesn't bite into the ice properly. But I got there. And that's the end of the first period. I usually panic when I have to play the puck, but I think I made the right choice here. I was definitely afraid of uh, her, her very long stick getting in the way of a pass to the right, so I just shoveled it off to the other side. And now it's 2 nothing Vipers. Had the bright idea to try this and then quickly realized I was going to fall. I didn't get my belly button square enough for this rebound, but I seem to have covered enough of the angle at least. Forced her into shooting wide. They did a really good job of not getting icing calls in this game. Thought I caught that for a second. Must have hit the cuff. One more goal for the Vipers. Another Vipers goal. Thank you. 
Man, this goal felt so fluky. As I'm going down into the RVH, just the way it found the tiniest hole to bounce off my, my pants and into the net. So unfortunate. And that's the end of the second period. In the moment, I thought this sort of snuck in awkwardly behind my shoulder. Um, but in reality, I'm just... I'm going to the post on these plays when I should be staying a bit further out in my crease to block the angle better. I'm giving people the top corner to shoot at all day and, you know, oftentimes they take it. So that's really, I've learned that since then, but in the moment I was really confused about what had happened, how it had gotten in. As you can see me trying to figure it out. Then I decided if I had just had my glove in a better spot, then I, I clearly would have caught it. Then she gets this shot again, and I guess correctly that she's going to go with what worked the first time. And I just go full 90s style on her and just block up the entire top corner with my body. <laughs> I do like that I pushed back out to the top of the crease here. Definitely would have liked to get that into the pocket, not off the cuff again. You always tell when it's hit your skate, it's a very distinctive sound. Now, if I had stayed at the top of the crease, this save would have looked a lot easier than it, it ended up being. It would have been a lot easier than it ended up being. Another bad push, but I got my blocker over there. What you see here is my immediate annoyance with myself because here I am yet again, plugging in the little space between my pads and the post with my glove and it never works. Like <laughs> it just never works and I keep doing it. And I really just wanna get into the habit of pushing to the post with my pads instead. And so as the game ends, I force myself to do butterfly pushes as penance. And that is the end of the game, and it in a 4-3 loss. I managed to not completely squander the 4 nothing lead my team got me. It was nice to get our first win of the season. And uh, with that said, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.